All right, all right, so I'm gonna keep this one short and sweet, not just because I'm just trying to get back to swinging things with a nice quick video, but I'm currently dealing with a tooth infection that is really hurting every now and then when I talk. So I'm gonna try and minimalize this review. Also, I gotta mention very quick that I got a stop motion series coming up soon that involves a bit of storyline, kind of like slideshow-esque kind of thing. It's hard to explain, but the TRX, Rookie Strong, it's coming up soon. Alright, alright. So today we'll be looking at two bad seasons in one video. Yeah, that's right. We're going to do a double whammy today. Now the reason for that is this guy suggested that uh, William Byron and Chase Elliott both had terrible seasons in the Cool Cup series. William Byron was bad in season one, while Chase Elliott was bad in season two. Well, I decided, you know what, just put it all in one video. And one thing I have to get out of the way is that, well, he, for like the second half of the season, he doesn't show results at all. So, honestly, I'm just going based off stats that he's given me in his comment. So, yeah, this one is kind of a bit more of a crash counter. So, let's see how many times these two crashed out. Have to go down through turn number four. Kyle Busch takes the lead away. Coming to lap 12, Christopher Bell pushing his teammate, but again, around goes the rest of the field. Martin Truex Jr. was on top of William Byron. All right, look at this. Bell turns to his teammate again. Green flag back in the Oh! Multi-car pile up and down! R Ryan Newman plows right into the back of the 24. Violent accident. No one could have made it through without contact. It looks like I'm a roll. Locked up the tires. Matthew Benedetto then gets turned by the 42 of Chastain. Byron and Kurt Busch get involved. Then Newman piles in at the last second. They have completed lap number one. Austin Dillon and Louis De Denny Hamlin three widely inside for a few positions back. Oh, he got a wreck already on lap three. Oh, big hit for Elliott as he piles in late. Caution is out. Early Chase Elliott was piled in late. I think he... so. True, Mart, um, Byron got turned by Logano onto Keselowski, then Elliott, I think, got turned by Truex. And big hit for all of them. Already a big tumble! William Byron gets on his roof! Hard contact for Ross Chastain in the back. Huge collision. Kurt Busch is involved. Ryan Blaney. Man, such a violent accident. Bubba Wallace got involved. They're trying to get one. And William is climbing out of the car. He is okay. They were, we were under the red flag for a moment. White flag in the air. One more time around in Dalladega. And around goes Eric Jones. Hard on the outside wall. Still holding on to the lead. Now Byron looks high. Now he looks low. Oh, he turns Kyle Busch. Hard in the wall. Big wreck behind the leaders at the finish line. It's too close to call. William Byron is going to get it done here in Talladega. So, yeah, after three straight DNFs in the second half of the season, Byron would go on to win the ninth race at Talladega. Now, with that in mind, you think he would be able to try and finish off the season with a bang, right? Right? Green flag back in the air. Oh, there's a big wreck right off the restart. Chase Elliott's championship hopes are done. Wow, in a big wreck. Kyle Busch and Chase Elliott, two drivers above the cutoff line for the championship floor, and Eric Amarola, one of the drivers below it. So yeah, when season one was all said and done, William Byron would end the season with five DNFs with an average finish of 15 flat within the first five races of the season. That's for the rest of it, the results are unclear. But anyways, Onwards to Chase Elliott, Season 2.